All right, new NBA commissioner, not so new. Adam Silver, I think he's doing a really good job so far. Said that um, LeBron James leaving the Eastern Conference hurt the playoff ratings. And let's talk about exactly what he said um, in context to kind of break it down. We back, Good Filler Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another uh, video. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. And uh, check out our NBA 101 NBA Talk playlist. NBA Talk is all our video version. NBA 101 is our live NBA version videos. Um, so basically he said, yeah, have LeBron go out West. I think he meant overall hurt, you know, hurt the uh, viewership because the games come on, uh, so late, um, in the Western conference. So, um, in the East, a lot of people go to sleep at what, 11 30, 12 and the game just not can't come on with 10 30. But yeah, he said, you know, having LeBron come out West has really hurt the NBA playoff ratings. The ratings are down a guesstimated 18% this year. Um, the playoffs, and they say that's because of LeBron. But I think they, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, at least we know it ain't rigged to the point where they made sure the Lakers make, made it. You know, he made a mistake coming out west, and everybody told him, don't come out west. Don't come out west. It's a different ball game out west. And he wanted to come out here for the, he wanted to come out to the west coast, excuse me, for the California, L.A. lifestyle. He wanted his son to go to a particular school to play ball there and get that type of education. So you always want to give your kids the best. But one thing I want to say about the whole situation with his kids, yeah, you pay for the best school, but that don't necessarily mean they're going to be the best baller. You know, the best street ballers are, are dudes that come from nothing. You know, dudes that play on, on the cement, dudes that play outside, dudes that just got the natural talent. Just because you put your kid in a in a great atmosphere, you know, in the best high school, don't mean they're going to come out an all-star. You know, your kids still need that street, that edge from the street that you got. And ball players don't think of it that way. You know, if you want your kid to be a ball player, you want your kid to be a boxer, NFL player, you got to train in the gutter. You got to play with the with the kids in the hood. You got to get that edge. And if you don't get that edge, you're going to just be labeled soft playing in the suburbs. But that's another conversation for another day. But, you know, a lot of people couldn't believe he said that. But obviously, what else reason that he going to have Adam Silver on why the NBA ratings are down? You know, they're going to blame it on LeBron. LeBron not here. LeBron not here. And then every day you turn on ESPN, Fox, Undisputed, First Take, First Take, Undisputed. They they try well, mainly Undisputed. I can't even always put that on First Take. They want to find a reason to talk about LeBron James um, because they ratings hurting too. You know, and overall, uh, yeah, to a certain extent, I do watch LeBron. I do miss watching LeBron in the playoffs. But at the end of the day, the NBA got to prepare for this. Life after LeBron. You know, at the end of the day, you got to showcase your stars, Giannis. You know, and it's different this year. It's something different. It's no longer Cleveland and Golden State. It's probably going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks versus Golden State. And, and, you know, they don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't like when a small market team make it to the championship. They didn't like when the Pistons made it. You know, they they always want those big market teams to make the uh, championship. You know what I'm saying? They always want to make those big market teams win the championship, you know, pay it away. They don't like the small markets to win either, you know. But at the same time, you know, you can blame on LeBron all you want to. But guess what? LeBron going to have to leave one day. Father Tom is catching up to LeBron. You got to find you another star, you know. Maybe Giannis, maybe Kawhi, maybe AD. So, it's, you know, it's going to be very important for them to prepare for that, man, to build the next star, to, to find somebody that could pull NBA in. But really... But really, man, it's like, did he really say that? You know, we understand LeBron not in, but it's been terrible, man. The Western Conference playoffs, or the Western Conference finals was a complete blowout. You know, the, the Trailblazers was, was non-competitive, and I believe the Denver Nuggets would have been just as non-competitive with the Golden State Warriors. But LeBron wasn't good enough. You got LeBron and historic franchise in L.A., and they couldn't even get to the playoffs, so you can blame it on that. I blame it on not having a lot of stars. You know, after LeBron James, you still had James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard, Kyrie Irving up in that thing, Paul George, Jimmy Butler, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Giannis, Kawhi. You still got stars. You still got stars. And I just I just think, like, they need to prepare for that, man. They had, It had to be life after Jordan. And luckily, they transitioned into the Spurs era. Well, not so lucky. That was born. To, to the NBA. But look at they transferred to the Spurs area and they transferred into the to the Kobe and Shaq Lakers area. You know, and, and that was luckily for that. So who are they gonna transfer to? They don't want it to be Milwaukee. Let me tell you that right now. They don't want Milwaukee 
to be the toast of the town. They don't want any small markets to win championships because they feel that the 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 interest won't be there. They feel like the marketing won't be there. They feel like the consumers won't be there. They don't. They want consumers from New York, Boston, L.A. and most sports. That's that's where the they feel like that's where the most money gonna come at. They feel like everybody a Dallas Cowboy fan around the nation. So if the Cowboys win it, everybody gonna be buying Cowboy apparel. Everybody gonna be wanting to come to the Super Bowl. They feel like if it's the the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA championship without LeBron, why well, I would say Cleveland. If it's the Oklahoma City Thunder, how many people around the world, you know, around the country, around the world buying Oklahoma City Thunder gear? That's how they look at it. They afraid. For a small market team to win. They're afraid for Minnesota to win. They're afraid for Orlando to win. To go to the NFL. They stay afraid, you know, for Jacksonville to win. They they don't want those type of teams to win. You know, and it's unfortunate though that, oh man, without LeBron, you know, it's, it's the reason why we down 18%. No, the reason why you down is because, you know, y- y- NBA. Let's just talk about that for a minute. The reason why old timers don't watch the NBA no more, and I'm gonna give you a multiple breakdown of this. The reason why guys that that me that grew up in the '90s, early 2000s, don't watch the NBA like that, like we used to back in the day, which if they had league passes back in the day, it'd be off the chain. They have multi-million dollar subscribers for that. The reason why your '80s basketball fans, your '70s basketball fan lovers don't watch the NBA no more because it's fundamentally destroyed. They travel all the time. You know, I'm still ready to hear this video. They travel all the time. We tired of touch fouls. We talk. We tired of you can't touch nobody. We tired of James Harden shooting 20, 30 free throws, and that's the side of the game. At the end of the day, we tired of a touchy feel basketball. It needs to be physical again. You need to bring hand checking back. You need to bring defense back. You need to s- stop traveling. Teach the guys how to dribble again. You can't watch it no more because every time somebody get bumped, it's a uh, foul. Every time somebody get touched, it's a foul. Start off with your officiating and how you call in the game. That's the problem. And also, ain't no white superstar, so white America don't care. White America don't care. They can't identify. It's not Larry Bird out there or Tom Chambers out there. Shit, it ain't even a Sabonis or a Rich Smiths out there. It ain't even a, a, a it's barely a Rex Chapman out there. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a white star that can that can that can really you know bring that demographic in. You know, that's the problem with boxing. Boxing don't have a white star to bring that demographic in. UFC do. You know, UFC has plenty of white fighters, so a ton of white people love UFC. So it just ain't LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? If you call the NBA like it's supposed to be called, and it's go back to no boys allowed, physical league, where it's man ball league, and, and y'all not calling flagrants on everything or giving texts out like Tic Tacs, your league will be doing just fine. People will be able to watch it to be entertaining, but it's not entertaining when the referee are the star of the game. It ain't just LeBron for your ratings dropping. The reason pop, NBA drop, uh, popularity dropping, the talent level ain't what it used to be. The officiating, they travel, and then they, the touch files, we tired of that, the cry baby. Nobody want to see a grown man cry about files and shit. And then you can get to LeBron James. But, hey, guess what? It is what it is. And in like a year or two or three, you got to prepare for no LeBron James in general. So if you don't have a contingency plan or a star in waiting that's ready to step into LeBron's shoes and be that star, or you don't have a villain that's ready to play that villain star role that LeBron play, then you might as well just, you know, get ready to get prepared for the NBA to dip below baseball too. If you dip below baseball, and that's a fast decaying sport, that's a sport that's on the deathbed. Don't nobody give a fuck about baseball. Ain't nobody watching no three, four hours of nine inning. Nobody watching that. But the NBA is in danger of touching that, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think. I'll link the article in the description with Cal Alvin, uh, Alvin uh, Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, said this about LeBron. He said the Western, you know, they thinking about uh, starting Western Conference games earlier to accommodate the East Coast. And that's why the Ravens now because all the good games in the West and do people on the East got to work every day. He right. You know, but that's just, you can't punish the Western Conference people and as soon as they get off work, then they got to go to the arena. It is what it is, man. But hey, it's Goodfellow Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, TheHellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair palm, made much, much more. Website, promo code, and description. Just keep sharing the video. It's the best way you can help your boy out. And don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, reach out to the email once again if need be. Keep sharing the videos. Good fellow sports TV. One time for the one time we go.